Wherefore hear the word of the Lord, ye scornful men, that rule this people which is in Jerusalem. Because ye have said, We have made a covenant with death, and with hell are we at agreement. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. For we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, a precious corner stone, a sure foundation, he that believeth shall not make haste. Judgment also will I lay to the line, and righteousness to the plummet, and the hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies, and the waters shall overflow the hiding place, and your covenant with death shall be disannulled, and your agreement with hell shall not stand. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, then ye shall be trodden down by it. If my people who are called by my name would humble themselves, repent, pray, and seek the Most High, the times of the heathens would end. The scriptures warn us that in the last days, people would be lovers of themselves, proud, boastful, disobedient, and more. This know also, that in the last days, perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce, breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. The information age is not only fulfilling the scriptures that said in the last days, knowledge would increase. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. The times we are living in is fulfilling the prophecy of the rise of the spirit of vanity. The Most High spoke through Timothy, revealing that people would become prideful, traitors, unholy, lovers of money, and more. Social media is the gateway that ushered in the spirit of vanity. Through the virtual world, many are boastful, proud, lovers of themselves, and many things that gratify the flesh. The workers of iniquity with the help of the kingdom of darkness behind the scenes are fulfilling scriptures. Most workers of iniquity do not know there are puppets on a string. The synagogue of Satan believe they can challenge the Most High and win. The scriptures inform us that there are vessels made for honor and some for dishonor. Have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? The workers of iniquity believe they are wise by serving the kingdom of darkness. The elites who run this world with Satan are aware of their destiny. That is why they do not have any morals, nor do they have any problem destroying the earth. The lesser agents, the workers of iniquity, do not know they are fulfilling their destiny. All workers of iniquity are vessels made for dishonor. The elites keep many things hidden from the lesser agents. That is why the workers of iniquity believe they are doing the will of the Most High. A good example would be pastors in organized religion, the agents among the awakening, celebrities, and the everyday person following their idols. The synagogue of Satan and the lesser agents hide behind religious organizations and nonprofits. The kingdom of darkness convinced them to believe they are helping the people while destroying them in the process. For multiple generations, the heathens created countless organizations to help the poor rise from poverty. However, the poor remain in poverty and their conditions worsens every year. Israelites, this is how the workers of iniquity operate. They create the problem, then deceive the people into accepting their solutions. A realistic example, the workers of iniquity create a virus and unleash the virus on the world. 
By creating a pandemic, the people will submit and listen to anyone with a solution. Satan will deceive the workers of iniquity to believe they have done a good thing, and the Most High will bless them with wealth. Whose possessors slay them, and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. The same way the workers of iniquity genocide the native Indians living in America and create a holy day called Thanksgiving to celebrate their accomplishments. The workers of iniquity thought the Most High blessed them after that massacre. The people are misled by the synagogue of Satan about the origins of the biochemical unleashed on them. The synagogue of Satan deceived the masses into believing the virus came from a bat soup. In the meantime, the bats and other animals around the world are healthy and not dropping dead from any virus. While the people are suffering, the workers of iniquity propose a vaccine to cure the man-made virus. The workers of iniquity are proud of their inventions but too afraid to test their genius vaccines on themselves. The people chosen to be lab rats believe they are helping the world. Once their vaccines appear to be working, the workers of iniquity are looked upon as heroes. Even though the roots of the pandemic came from the workers of iniquity following the instructions of their idols, the workers of iniquity convince themselves they are innocent, just like the members of the Ku Klux Klan proclaim to be Christians. Christians say they serve the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jesus is their Messiah and God in the flesh. The hate group, the KKK, have a perpetual hatred for the Black people. The members of that hate group infiltrate every organization to find a way to persecute Black people, especially the police force. When the mask comes off, they are your everyday evangelicals going to church every Sunday praising the same God that said to love your neighbors as you love yourself. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Do you see how Satan deceived the workers of iniquity into believing the Most High is blessing them? They believe their wicked behavior is accepted by the Most High, just like some Israelites who attack their own people and believe the Most High is praising their behavior. Those Israelites are no different from the workers of iniquity being deceived by the kingdom of darkness. The workers of iniquity celebrate their accomplishments and praise themselves for their wisdom. The Most High said, the wisdom of this world is foolishness in his sight. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. By making the people believe the workers of iniquity are helping them through nonprofit and religious organizations, the workers of iniquity can transfer the wealth of the middle class and the poor back to themselves to maintain power and to control the people. The workers of iniquity will shame the middle class and the poor to donate to their organizations to help the less fortunate around the world. The synagogue of Satan have billions and trillions in their bank accounts, resources to improve the conditions in the poverty-stricken countries. However, they will hoard the funds and encourage the poor and the middle class to donate to their nonprofits and religious organizations. The result of the workers of iniquity helping the less fortunate around the world, more than half of the countries in this world are poor. No signs of improvement despite of the countless donations and aid given to nonprofits and religious organizations to help the people for multiple generations. The people's problems increase while the workers of iniquity enlarge their wealth and their power increase. By the way, the countries are not poor. The countries and the land are fused with a vast amount of resources to take care of the people. The people are poor. In addition, they do not have control over their land. Israelites, can you comprehend why the serpent seed traveled the world and stole land from the indigenous people? It is through land ownership, the workers of iniquity control the world. That is how the workers of iniquity operate. The cycle of intimidation and bullying of the indigenous people continues until the original people wise up. Israelites, nothing that takes place in the physical and spiritual world happens without the Most High's knowledge and approval. Before this generation came into existence, the Most High prophesied of what is taking place today. 
the workers of iniquity are following the instructions from the kingdom of darkness. The synagogue of Satan understand by being loyal and submitting to the will of their idols, their God would give them the desires of their hearts. The workers of iniquity have no problem disregarding the laws of the Most High to help their idol succeed in controlling the physical realm. The synagogue of Satan will stop at nothing to have control. Their love of money is so great that through the love of money, Satan is able to blind their eyes, manipulate the workers of iniquity to do whatever he wants. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. The workers of iniquity have no problem unleashing deadly viruses to harm many. The workers of iniquity have no problem tampering with the words of the Most High if that can keep them ahead of the righteous and to stay in power. The synagogue of Satan disregard the consequences of altering the scriptures of the Most High. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. The synagogue of Satan are bold with the moves they make. They are not afraid to submit to their idols. Israelites will forsake their Elohim for worthless idols in a second. Israelites have been doing this for multiple years. Several generations later, we are in the same predicament. The lessons the Most High need his people to learn remain unlearned. How can the Most High intervene and change his people's conditions all over the world when his people refuse to obey? The Most High said, if my people could humble themselves, pray, seek my face, turn from their wickedness, Yah would hear their prayers and heal their land. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. The workers of iniquity are strategizing on how to conquer the whole earth, making plans for their people to succeed by any means necessary. The Israelites are watching them do it. Many Israelites are doing nothing to improve their conditions. The more the heathens mistreat them, the more they run to their oppressors. At such a time like this is when Israelites and indigenous people all over the world should unite to improve their conditions gather resources to make their conditions better for the future generations and themselves. The Most High said we should pray and seek his face. However, the Most High did not say for you to sit around and do nothing. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Many Israelites have gotten used to other people providing and doing things for them. They exchange the leadership role to become the employees, the slaves that upkeep the master's palace, instead of building a palace for themselves. They opt to improve their enemies' communities while neglecting their own. When a crisis happens, the heathens are taking care of their own and the indigenous people are scrambling to find ways to survive. When the heathens turn their back on them, they are quick to fight for equality. It is not the heathen's responsibility to take care of you. It is not the heathen's responsibility to provide for you. It is your responsibility to clean up your communities and provide a safe place for the future generation and yourself. The heathens made it clear that they do not want you around, nor do they want to help you. Their behavior is revealing this information to you. In order to create a safe place for the future generation, you would have to learn to submit to your Elohim, just like how the workers of iniquity submit to their idols. The kingdom of darkness is providing for the wicked. The kingdom of darkness is using the heathens to oppress you. The kingdom of darkness is stealing from you and transferring your wealth to your enemies. The workers of iniquity will ask their idols for their heart desire. The workers of iniquity do not ask, then sit around and wait for Satan to bring it to them. After they ask, they carefully follow the instructions of their idol. 
the workers of iniquity mobilize and spring into action to manifest their heart desire. The scriptures reveal to us that the birds do not sow nor reap, but the Most High provide for them. Behold the fowls of the air, but they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? In order for the birds to locate the provision the Most High made for them, they forage. The birds take action to find the food. The birds do not sit around and wait for the Most High to put the food into their mouths. Israelites in the awakening are aware that they must return to serving the Most High, uphold the statutes, commandments, and laws of the Most High. However, they stop there. They do not mobilize and spring into action to manifest what they are seeking from the Most High. You cannot ask, then sit around and do nothing. Right now, Israelites are praying and fasting. They are asking the Most High to protect them in this pandemic, provide and resolve personal struggles. Israelites, praying and seeking the Most High is the best thing you can do to save your people and yourself. However, many Israelites drop the ball in taking the next step. Many Israelites fail to mobilize and put their differences aside for one second to unite. Instead of uniting, they sell their people out for clout. They collaborate with the workers of iniquity to bash their people. Some Israelites believe that is going to resolve our problems. The Most High do not endorse chaos. Many Israelites have little faith in the Most High to accomplish what they need. The scriptures said, Trust the Most High with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all of your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Some Israelites do not trust the Most High with all of their hearts. If they did, they would not run to the heathens and their beast system for help. The same way the heathens' behavior is revealing their hatred towards you, your behavior is revealing your lack of trust in the Most High. The workers of iniquity do not run to you for help. They trust their idols to get the job done and they do their part. You must do your part and let the Most High lead you while you are taking a step. Israelites, when you run to the beast system for help, you cut off the provision and help from the Most High. That is why it is important that you trust the Most High with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. The workers of iniquity would never run to you or the Most High for provision. The workers of iniquity serve multiple gods. In addition, the truth is not in them. The Most High would never respond to them. That is why the workers of iniquity made a covenant with the kingdom of darkness. The synagogue of Satan will see to it that you remain in rebellion and never receive the help that you are seeking. Your failure and downfall is their time to rule. The synagogue of Satan will see to it you remain in sin to prolong their rulership. Trials like those that we are facing today is exposing the hearts of many Israelites. The present trials and tribulation is also going to promote many Israelites in the process. The decisions you make is going to determine if you will live to help your people. On the other hand, become a casualty of the many that find the broad road that leads to destruction. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. When Israelites neglect their role and responsibilities, your blessings and resources is up for grabs. The kingdom of darkness will plunder your homes and communities. The Most High will allow the kingdom of darkness to plunder your resources until you humble yourself. If my people could ignite the power within, the mess we are witnessing today would have ended months ago. When the Most High allowed trials of this magnitude to take place, a good opportunity has come your way to make a difference. Israelites, do not let any trial go to waste. This is your opportunity to bring a change to your communities and households, promotions for many Israelites and disaster for the wicked Israelites. Recognize the times we are living in. Remember, the Most High would not let the workers of iniquity go unpunished. Therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee 
will I give for a prey. Once you know and understand the many blessings the Most High has reserved for his people, there should be nothing the heathens can offer you that would make you trade your blessings for material wealth and illusions that are not reality. Israelites, you have to want to get out of bondage. Do not make the land of your captivity become your personal promised land. What the Most High have reserved for the righteous is far better. This is the workers of iniquity heaven. The beast system is made to promote and help all workers of iniquity. The beast system is not for the righteous. The workers of iniquity are waging war. You must learn to understand what is happening around you and get rid of the me, myself, and I mentality. The decisions you make have an effect on multiple generations. Israelites, let us make sure we pass the test so that the next generation do not have to endure what we've been through. We have to learn to face our problems and not let them linger. Israelites, let us take advantage of this trial and learn to pass generational blessings through our bloodline. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn again and rend you. Ask and shall be given you, seek and ye shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh, receiveth, and he that seeketh, findeth, and to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. 